Now at 10.30, craft beers are big business in Southern California, but local brewers are concerned that the market is going flat. Southern California is home to hundreds of craft breweries. But there are signs local suds may have reached a saturation point. KTLA's David Lazarus reports on whether the industry might be tapped out. Hey there, how are you? For years, craft breweries have been proliferating nationwide, and particularly in Southern California, with hundreds of sudsy startups to be found from Los Angeles to San Diego. The Brewers Association, a trade group, estimates that about 9,300 craft breweries now operate across the country. But have we finally reached peak craft? The association says the number of federal permits issued to craft brewers last year was the smallest since 2013. It estimates this year we'll see the fewest new craft breweries in over a decade. I don't know that we've reached peak craft yet since we're still seeing growth in, in other you know, small beverage alcohol producers. Uh, but I think we're seeing a point where breweries really have to work to differentiate. Watson says it can be a real challenge for a craft brewer to stand out in such a crowded marketplace. You take 75% of the breweries in the country and add them together and they make about 1% of the beer that we drink in this country. So it's really a question of which beers can make it to shelves. To the uninitiated, the world of craft brews can be bewildering. Indian pale ales or IPAs, lagers, pilsners, stouts, porters, wheat beer, the choices seem endless. Here's the website of the LA County Brewers Guild, a grouping of local craft brewers. Dozens and dozens of small breweries are jostling for attention throughout the Southland. It's not cheap or easy to open a craft brewery amid such competitive conditions. That has some industry observers wondering if there's now too much of a good thing. I think it's a course correction. When you look at any big industry that has had astronomic or really stratospheric growth, that's never going to be sustainable, and the same is true for beer. Highland Park Brewery near Dodger Stadium emerged from the pandemic in relatively good shape. But marketing director James Sullivan says times are tough for a number of local craft brewers. I think it's going to be a difficult year. Uh, I feel like we're going to see a lot more closures. I, I feel like we're going to see a lot more just turnover. Highland Park Brewery produces a variety of beers catering to local enthusiasts. Asking for a taste from the tap is fine if you don't know what you like, and the bartenders are more than happy to steer you to new experiences. Sullivan says the thirsty local market may not yet have hit peak craft, but that day is coming. I think we're getting there. I think, I think you know, starting this year, we're going to see a lot of our locals, um, unfortunately, closing and... Uh, you know, it's, it's tough to see. If none of this has put you off and you harbor dreams of being a craft beer kingpin, bring your checkbook. The Brewers Association estimates it can cost about half a million bucks to launch a bare bones craft brewery. If you plan to distribute to stores, bars, and restaurants, that'll run into the millions of dollars. You know, we're starting to see more and more of that, you know, maxim that if you want to make a small fortune in craft brewery and start with a large fortune. David Lazarus, KTLA 5 News.